Hello, son of God and my brother. This is your awakening. And today's teaching is what is justice? So justice is the divine correction for injustice. Injustice is the basis for all the judgments of the world. Justice corrects the interpretations to which injustice gives rise and cancels them out. Neither justice nor injustice exists in heaven. For error is impossible and correction meaningless. In this world, however, forgiveness depends on justice since all attack can only be unjust. Justice is the Holy Spirit's verdict upon the world. Except in His judgment, justice is impossible, for no one in the world is capable of making only just interpretations and laying all injustices aside. Justice is the Holy Spirit's verdict upon the world. Except in His judgment, justice is impossible, for no one in the world is capable of making only just interpretations and laying all injustices aside. If God's Son were judged fairly, there would be no need for salvation. The thought of separation would have been forever inconceivable. Justice, like its opposite, is an interpretation. It is, however, the one interpretation that leads to truth. This becomes possible because while it is not true in itself, justice includes nothing that opposes truth. There is no inherent conflict between justice and truth. One is but the first small step in the direction of the other. There is no inherent conflict between justice and truth. One is but the first small step in the direction of the other. The path becomes quite different as one goes along. Nor could all the magnificence, the grandeur of the scene, and the enormous opening vistas that rise to meet one as the journey continues be foretold from the outset. Yet even those whose pleasure reaches undescribable heights as one proceeds in the journey, in the awakening, fall short indeed of all that wait when the pathway ceases and time ends with it. But somewhere, one must start. Justice is the beginning. All concepts of your brothers and yourself, all fears of future states, and all concerns about the past stem from injustice. Here is the lens which held before the body's eyes distorts perception and brings witness of the distorted world back to the mind that made the lens and hold it very dear. Here is the lens which held before the body's eyes distorts perception and uh, brings witness to the distorted world back to the mind that made the lens and hold it very dear. Selectively and arbitrarily is every concept of the world built up in just this way. Sins, the illusion of sin, sins are perceived and justified by careful selectivity in which all thought of wholeness must be lost. Forgiveness has no place in uh, such a theme for not one sin, but seems forever true. Salvation is God's justice.
it restores it restores to your to your awareness the wholeness of the fragments you perceive as broken off and separate and it is this that overcomes the fear of death salvation is God's justice it restores to your awareness the wholeness of the fragments you perceive as broken off and separate and it is this and it is this that overcomes the illusion of the fear of death for separate fragments must decay and die but wholeness is immortal it remains forever and forever like its creator being one with him God's judgment is his justice and to this a judgment wholly lacking in condemnation an evaluation based entirely on love you have projected your injustice giving God the lens of warped perception warped perception through which you look now it belongs to him not to you you are afraid of him and do not see you hate and fear yourself as an enemy yourself capital your spirit self god pray for god's justice and do not confuse his mercy with your own insanity you have projected your injustice giving God the lens of warped perception through which you look through which you look pray for God's justice and do not confuse his mercy with your own insanity perception can make whatever picture the mind desires to see remember this perception can make whatever picture the mind decides to see in this lies heaven or hell as you elect god's god's justice <clears throat> god's justice points to heaven just just because it is entirely impartial it accepts all evidence that is brought before it omitting nothing and assessing nothing as separate and apart from all the rest. From this one standpoint, does it judge and this alone? Here, all attack and condemnation becomes meaningless and indefensible. <laughs> Perception rests, the mind is still, and light returns again vision vision is now restored what has been lost has now been found the peace of god descends on all the world and we can see and we can see